coming off an off date, uh, open weekend, and um, you know, we practiced a couple days last week and then started uh, game preparation, everything yesterday. So um, obviously Iowa's a very talented team. They're very well coached. Uh, have a lot of respect for them and their program. Uh, like AC said, they're 14th in the country now. Uh, it's a good football team. Uh, they're, you know, obviously they're really big, strong, physical football team. Uh, they're going to want to try to establish the run uh, coming in and then probably take shots down the field, try to get you some play action shots. So we got to prepare for that. You know, their offense, uh, defense is, is physical, big up front. Uh, they're talented on the back end, and they're really sound in the kicking game. So uh, we got our we got a great challenge ahead of us, a great opportunity ahead of us, one that we're looking forward to. And uh, you know, we got to go up there. And you know, when you play on the road, when you play away games, you know, you got to bring your toughness. And uh, we got to be a very we got to we got to uh, be a level ahead of their toughness because they're a tough physical football team. So open up to you guys. Coach, you, you said you gave the guys off a few days uh, over the bye week. How do you think they kind of responded to having the open week? Uh, you know, I'm sure it was good for them both mentally and physically. I didn't think we practiced as sharp as we need to yesterday. We looked like we hadn't practiced in a few days. Uh, so we've got to be better Tuesday, tomorrow, when we when we get back at it. But uh, I'm sure it was a welcome break for them, both mentally and physically, um, you know, because they've been going since uh, August 1st. So um, I'm sure they enjoyed it. How do you go about trying to contain a guy um, like A.J. Espinessa on their defensive end? I mean, he's a top 10 pick potentially, and he's having a good year so far. He's a good player. We've played a bunch of good players so far this year. But, uh, you know, it just it, it comes down to, you know, being fundamentally sound in what you're doing in your protection and, and, and your fundamentals and blocking and everything you do. So he's going to make plays, and, and, and we're going to have our times where, you know, we make plays. So he, he's a good football player. Um, we, we have a plan. We'll have a plan. Um, but it, when you face good players, good teams, it usually comes down to execution and uh, fundamentals. And uh, so that's what we've got to rely on this week. As much as they like to run, Nate Stanley just continues to put up just solid numbers for them. What impresses you most about the way he plays? Probably just, you know, his tenacity. Uh, you know, he, 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 he runs uh, – mad he runs you know like he's got a chip on his shoulder which i'm sure he does uh, but he's a physical downhill hard nose runner that you know breaks tackles uh you know uh, mostly i think because of his effort you know he'll, he, he can make you miss but uh, a lot of his production is a result of you know his effort and uh his refusal refusal to go down by the first tackler Um, what impresses you most about Kirk fans from what he's been able to do there for decades now, it seems like? Uh, you know, I, I don't know him uh, personally, uh, but I have a ton of respect for him. Uh, how he runs his program, uh, what he's, you know, you know, every year, you know, you know, his, his team is right there in the mix of things. Uh, to be able to stay there as long as he has, you know, is just a testament to uh, the character of him, the character, the integrity of their team, how they play, how hard they play. Uh, but I just have a lot of respect for him, and I'm looking forward to meeting him, looking forward to talking to him before the game, uh, because I do respect coaches like him and uh, just have a ton of respect for him. Up on that a little bit, you got you and he both are in the top five uh, longest tenured in uh, in in the FBS. Uh, you feel like you have some similar qualities between the two of you. Stand for the same things. You know, I hope so, Chip. You know, um, I hope when people 
play us or watch us play that, you know, they say that some of the same things that our team plays hard. They play with great effort. They're smart, uh, do things the right way on and off the field. You know, so I hope so. And, and I would like to think that we do because I'm really proud of uh, what we've accomplished here, you know, in my time being here. And, uh, you know, it's a credit to our players and our coaching staff. But uh, I would hope that people say some of the similar things. Going back to uh, Nate Stanley, he's been like a model of consistency for Iowa for the last three years. How do you go about getting pressure on him? Because the last couple of weeks, the defense hasn't gotten a whole lot of pressure on the opposing quarterback. Well, I mean, it's hard. You know, you, you look at teams as fast as quarterbacks get the ball out now, uh, you know, especially who we've played, you know, these first three games, uh, you know, the ball comes out fast and it's hard to, it's hard to get there. And, uh, you know, so I think affecting the quarterback is sometimes just as important as getting a sack. And, uh, you know, they've got a really good offensive line. They do a great job. They'll max protect. You know, they'll keep an extra guy in and protect. They'll use their back in protection. You know, so they do a good job. It's going to be hard, you know, to, to get there. And, uh, but when we do get an opportunity, you know, we've got to take advantage of it. But at the same time, you know, if we can get close and just, you know, make him a little bit uncomfortable where he's not sitting back there, you know, where he's got, you know, time to pat the ball. And, uh, you know, so, uh, but, you know, we'll, uh, our, our guys will play hard. I have no doubt about that. Appreciate you guys. Have a